Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, August 12th, 2013. Uh, there's a uh, watchful eye being kept on Cairo right now. Former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi has apparently urged his followers out into the streets to protest his detention, as well as the end of his government. The military has made it very clear that they are not going to sit by idly if protests continue, and they will in fact intervene in a very disciplined and harsh manner, so things could get very tense there very quickly. There was a good-sized earthquake in New Zealand this morning, a 6.0 on the Richter scale. It uh, has not caused any damage, at least none that's been reported yet. The epicenter was uh, in the Kermandic Islands, north of New Zealand. Uh, the nearest town is about 60 miles away. You'll remember, of course, that uh, New Zealand Christchurch in particular has been racked by earthquakes in the past year. The year's most powerful typhoon has slammed into the Philippines today, triggering landslides, uh, killing about a dozen people, cutting power and communications in the northern part of the country. It's Typhoon Utor, U-T-O-R, packing winds of about 90 miles per hour. Um, the main damage has occurred about uh, 190, 200 miles northeast of Manila. The Philippines are hit by about 20 named typhoons every year. Meanwhile, in Japan, farther to the west, torrential rain have triggered severe floods and mudslides in Awati province in the northern part of the country, leaving at least five people dead. Uh, the government has activated the, uh, the military and the uh, uh, self-defense forces to try to rescue people. In Belfast, over the weekend, there were more civil disturbances. Dozens of police officers have been injured after they were pelted with rocks and uh, homemade types of hand grenades. Uh, there were huge demonstrations that had broken out throughout Northern Ireland marking the uh, anniversary of the introduction of imprisonment without trial in Northern Ireland, which was introduced on August 9th in 1971. Uh, last month, of course, the city was hit by uh, several nights of rioting, predominantly by loyalist groups. Uh, Belfast is, of course, trying to attract much outside international investment. This will not be helpful. We uh, talked last week about how Tiger Woods' home in Florida is uh, currently slowly sinking and is being jacked up by pylons underneath. We also mentioned that Florida is prone to sinkholes. Well, about seven miles outside of uh, Walt Disney World this morning, a uh, sinkhole struck the Summer Bay Resort. In about three or four minutes' time, it swallowed a building. Fortunately, nobody was injured. The sinkhole was about 60 feet in diameter and 15 foot deep, uh, feet deep. If you look at the pictures on Google, it's really quite remarkable. A uh, whole four-story building essentially just sagged and collapsed into the uh, sinkhole. Well, um, in a country that's racked with uh, domestic problems and does not have enough uh, food to feed its population, they still have time for military arms. India has launched its first homegrown aircraft carrier marks another milestone in its efforts to bolster its maritime presence. Uh, the aircraft carrier was launched at the Kochi shipyard over the weekend in southern Kerala. It still needs to be outfitted and extensive sea trials are going to be held over the next uh, several years until it's launched and inducted into the Indian Navy in 2018. Also on Saturday, India activated an atomic reactor for its first indigenously built nuclear submarine. Well, so much for uh, guns and butter. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.